Oh, hi, it's me again. <laughs> Can you stay set? I'm going to do a reindeer set. I've wanted to do a reindeer set like all month and I haven't done one. So uh, Christmas, two days away. Oh my God, two more flipping sleeps. I'm so excited. Um, so I was like, do you know what? You're not going to get a chance to do this again until next year. So I'm going to do, I've done it like, yeah, I'm just like, right, we're going to do a reindeer. Now I found a reindeer on the internet, a little image, one of those ones that have got that, you know, watermark on so you can't pinch it. Um, I'll put it somewhere here if I can find it again. That's the reindeer we're going to do. Um, I don't know why I'm doing five nails because I only ended up doing four because I got to the fifth one. I was like, I don't know what to do. So pretend the fifth one is like a plain nail. This is called Lavender Morning. It's a really gorgeous colour. Isn't it? Look, freshly applied gel polish. Don't you just like freshly applied gel polish? Oh, yes, please. So this is two coats. It's going to go in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then over all of the nails, I am going to put this dry matte top coat from Neo Nail. Um, you can buy these from neonailuk.com and you can use code NAPMUG10 to save yourself 10%. Bargain. Do the lid up. Pop it in the lamp to cure. Then on my palette, I'm going to put some hazelnut butter. This is going to be the colour of our reindeer. I would have liked a slightly lighter, a uh, slightly, what's the word? I don't know. It's not quite a brown brown, but that's all I've got. Hot me and white collar. I'm also going to put on. Um, if you, I'm actually going to use the white gel paint. But if you haven't got the white gel paint, you can use white collar. Because I'm going to use these. Look. So they also do these paints in a non-expert gel paint. Um, I don't know what the difference is. So um, I don't know. But if you're not qualified, then you can buy the non-expert gel paint. Um, yeah. So yeah, there we go. Um, right, so... This, I'm going to do, this is going to be more of a time lapse because <clears throat> I'm not very good at telling you what I'm doing when it comes to things like this because I'm not very good at, some people are really good at doing portraits and little drawings and stuff. I just kind of wing it. So I literally, I'm starting by creating anything that's brown on the reindeer. So basically the, the kind of shape of his head and his ears. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying he because it might be a girl. But we're going to... No, no, it's going to be Rudolph. What? We're going to call it Rudolph because it's got a great big red nose. So this is going to be Rudolph. So he... Yeah, going to do the outline of his head and his ears. Okay, then before I jumped into doing the nose, I did cure him for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to use Hot Me and I am going to create his nose. It's got a cute little nose, but it's not little, it's big, but it's still cute. A big red nose, there we go. And then I'm going to do his eyeballs. So I've got the gel paint here. You can use the gel polish, I suppose. The gel polish probably won't be as pigmented as the gel paint but you could probably do like a couple of coats um i don't know because i've not tried it because i was using the gel paint but give it a try so it's going to have two eyeballs two eyeballs is very important to have two eyeballs otherwise he's not going to see where the sleigh is going to go and um yeah if you can't see they'll be very very upset children because santa will probably crash his sleigh and that is never a good thing Okay, he also needs a little mouth. He needs a little tiny mouth. Now, he literally had a slither of a mouth, but I was trying to make it look like a little slivery, smiley mouth because he needs to be a happy reindeer because he's delivering presents to all the good boys and girls. So he's going to have this little... There we go, look. Oh, my God. So I've cured that. Then I'm going to apply the black, um, the little pupils in his eyeballs using a dotting tool. And I've cured it again. Then his reindeer antlers are gonna be this is this color's called blinking pleasure blinking no barking 
blink no it's called blink it's called blinking something blinking pleasure it's just really nice i thought it'd be nice instead of having like boring colored antlers he could have like glittery shiny gorgeous antlers because he is he's an extra reindeer he's living his best extra life yes he is because it's christmas and all there we go pop him in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds oh my god he's so lovely oh i decided to kind of slightly outline his face using the black which i i want his eyeballs and then over the top i'm just gonna yeah just gonna go over with some matte top coat again just to seal everything in oh he's so cute if you want him shiny that's what he'd look like i want him matte there we go you could also go over his antlers with the dry top coat to make them shiny again um but i was like you know what we'll just leave it um this nail is going to be a sweater nail so i've done two lines down the side and i went over those with some clear acrylic powder then in the center i'm going to do like a just a easy sort of cable pattern so you do a line and then you do a line the other side and you kind of connect those lines with a line going through the middle <laughs> you'd have no idea what i was on about if you wasn't watching this video as well do you see you, you do yeah it's really really pips this one is probably one of the easiest sweater nail designs you could do so a line there and then a line there and then you're just going to connect them across the center there easy peasy lemon squeezy and then we're just going to put a little one at the bottom and then i'm going to put a little bit at the back at the top a little no 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 there we go look just put one there otherwise it's going to look a bit weird now i was going to struggle to get one in the bottom so i kind of left it and then sprinkle that with what's this stuff called acrylic powder if you don't have acrylic powder you can use a glitter <coughs> like um you could make it like a cute iridescent like you know anything that just makes it look embossed that would be nicely done that will do nicely i mean what am i on about then on the sides we're just going to do like little diagonal lines like this again i mean it's nothing difficult it's quite nice the, the hardest thing was those straight lines that i did for i don't know why i cut out that footage i have i've edited these videos and then i'm doing the voiceovers today um like a few days after i've done these videos so i'm not quite sure what happened maybe i forgot to hit record i do that sometimes oh i think my other half's home hmm, might not be him there we go do the same this side and then again i'm going to sprinkle it with clear acrylic if you want to you can do the whole design and then sprinkle it with clear acrylic but i like to do a little bit at a time because if i muck up then i don't lose the whole design do you know what i mean you can just sort of wipe off what you've ruined <laughs> uh what am i doing here all right we're gonna do a snowflake so i'm using the white gel paint and a dotting tool now this snowflake was a snowflake that i'd seen on a set by nails by it's something like Dunjahab Sui. I can't say it. I don't know how you say the name. See, I was taking the mick out of someone because they couldn't say Marquise the other day, and now I can't say their name. So you can take the mick out of me if you want. <laughs> oh dear. So I'm literally, it's kind of like it was just literally lines and dots, and I thought it was really nice. And it's a kind of snowflake that I've not done before. So I was like, yeah, let's go with it. Let's try this one out. So you've got like between the dots you've got longer lines and then between those longer lines you've got little tiny short lines i just had a realization i had this like epiphany yesterday i don't know if epiphany is the right word but it occurred to me that i am using my detailer brush to do particular lines that i could do with spider gel and it would make them look so much finer and I've kind of just like, why don't you use spider gel more nats? So I have just, yeah, so like in the new year, I think spider gel will be the way forward for me for like the, yeah, like, oh God, straight lines, spider gel, like curved lines, spider gel, you know, you just spider gel. And um, yeah, so I've just, that's, yeah, just saying. 
not that I needed, not that I needed to know that, but you do, I do like to share things that are completely pointless. Right, we're going to sprinkle it with acrylic. By the way, who's excited for Christmas? Like, not long now. <laughs> so excited. Okay, pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Uh, this nail, I am doing some drips. So again, look, I've gone over with a matte top coat. And I'm using, this is actually the, yeah, this is the art gel, this one. The other one was the gel paint. This is the art gel. And I don't even know why I chose drips. I probably should have done icicles. The, but I was thinking, no, you know, it's going to be the icing on a Christmas pudding. Who has icing on Christmas pudding? Because we don't. We never have icing on Christmas pudding. We have brandy butter. Oh, maybe it's the cream. Because sometimes we have cream and brandy butter. Yeah, we'll pretend it's the cream, but the um, the Christmas pudding is actually a gorgeous pinky matte colour, not a brown fruity Christmas pudding. We're going to go modern pud. It's a modern pud. One that you can't eat because it's actually a nail. I'm talking shite now. I'm good at talking shite. Right, yeah, so we're just going to put some drips. <clears throat> and um, they're pretty easy. You just do like like um oh, i can't even think uh look hair in there you just make them fat at the bottom and then you taper them out at the top and then to connect them you're just going to do some arches and because this is the art gel it's not very good at self-leveling but don't worry because we're going to cover it with some glitter some glitter so yeah, you see all those little lines in it? Don't worry about those because you're not going to see those in the end. Okay, so that's going to do because I just, I don't know. I don't even know why I've done drips. We're going to use Diamond Dust from Nail Sugar because it is amazing. And it is, it's, this is one of, this has to be a staple in your Nail Sugar Glitter Collection. We're going to tap it over that uncured art gel. Tap, 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 tap. Cover the whole thing. Tap off the excess. Pop it in the lamp to cure. You can over cure it. I like to slightly over cure mine. Brush off any excess. And you're left with some glittery drips. Pudding, cream, ice, no, what? I don't know. Anyway. Oh yeah, and I decided, because I'd put some snowflakes and sh shit. <laughs> snowflakes and stuff around the the reindeer. So I thought, right, I'll put some more on this snowflake now. And then it kind of kind of ties the set together a bit more so i'm just using the art gel no 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 this is the gel paint and then um yeah i'm making a couple of them some flicky outy stars flicky outy stars i mean because i just flick the gel out like that and it makes it i don't know it's just looks kind of cute <coughs> and then cover it in acrylic powder <coughs> oh my goodness i've got a tickly throat <coughs> no it's not covid don't panic <gasps> my kids come out of self-isolation today Hurrah. and they've not been ill i can't believe they didn't get ill like my son had i think at least three people in his class ended up with covid and he didn't get it thank the lord anyway this is a finished set Woo. um hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing sorry i'm talking absolute rubbish today i clearly have verbal diarrhea which happens a lot actually yeah anyway um don't forget to uh, i just said it all do all that good stuff and I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with, oh, I think it's one more video. I don't even know what the day is now. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. <laughs>